Okay, so hey guys, this is going to be actually part two of my animal testing video. Um, I don't want to feel like I'm preaching to you guys or telling you to change your ways or anything like that because that's totally not me. I don't judge you guys by what you do, what you eat, or anything like that. Um, I'm just giving you kind of a, like a little bit of insight of things that I think of a daily basis and maybe things that um, you'd like to look into or maybe you weren't aware of. Um, so it's nothing like I'm like telling you, oh, this is how you have to do it and this is why and you know anything like that. I think um, ignorance is bliss and I think you have to be educated in all areas and um, if you're educated and then make a decision, then you can stand behind it 100%. Um, so that's kind of what I'm getting to, um, you know, we're not all perfect, um, we can't just, you know, not eat meat or, you know, buy anything that does not test on animals, I mean, we're human and we're going to have mistakes, um, but you just have to realize and have guidelines, I guess, on where your mistakes lie, I guess, so you can maybe change them, um, so anyway, because um, our points of view go on to our kids, and that's very important for the next generation and the generation after that, um, not just animals, just with everything, life, politics, anything, um, or ozone layer. I mean, I could make like a 500 part video of my thoughts, but um, I probably wouldn't get me anywhere. Um, but we're, I'm only one voice, and um, slowly we can change, um, little by little, I'm sure, sway people's minds. Um, you know what I mean? Just maybe have a little kind of a heart. Um, because I know I love my animals, honestly, honestly, to death. They're like my second kids. I'm an animal nut. I do a lot of, um, you know, act, activities with um, animals and things like that. And um, I could never imagine my animal ending up in a pound um, and not finding a home or, you know, ending up in, like, an animal testing thing or anything like that. And you just have to be thankful and you're be thankful for the pets that you have because um, I know all my pets have a different personality and they truly love you and a lot of animals die every day just for our so-called needs and it doesn't have to be like that so um, let's just get started I have three makeup things that I'm just gonna show you because um, makeup things are really what I go for which I have heart I do a lot of swaps and um, I do buy a lot of things on clearance which shame on me um, a lot of them some tests on animals which I try to not buy as much of but um, if they're on clearance I will buy them I would never buy them full price so um, just with that being said other than my makeup addiction that's the only thing I really have to work on pretty much all my household things are um, cruelty free um, now these are actually um, UK brands and this first mascara is a number seven and I do believe it's a boots brand correct me if I'm wrong um, I'm gonna need another one of these mascaras so if I'm doing a swap with you and you're in the UK I'm gonna definitely ask for another one of these it puts me in mind of CoverGirl's Lash Blast which I love CoverGirl's Lash Blast um, CoverGirl tests on animals so um, I won't be getting it anytime soon but um, I definitely love this mascara and it's amazing so good for them they don't test on animals definitely a good product and I've noticed um, doing a lot of research a lot of UK brands um, do not test on animals which is amazing um, another one is the Barry M I love Barry M's lip paints um, my friend Heather got me addicted to this bronzer it's gorgeous I'll just show you what it looks like but um, Barry M does not test on animals and they're cruelty free so amazing yay for Barry M next sleek palette I don't know if you can make that out. Um, www.sleekmakeup.com is the website. And this is Storm. And my friend Nat sent me this. And I asked for it. And they do not test on animals, which is amazing. And these shadows, I'll show you. I'll give you a swatch. Just The shadows are amazing. And they don't test on animals. So I will for sure support that. And um, those are just three, really, that I had out um, off hands that I know that do not test on animals. I know Avon doesn't. Um, I could not find NYC anywhere. Um, I do not know if they test on animals or if they don't. So if you know or if you can find a reliable, um, I guess, source, um, leave me a comment or send me a message. Um, I Googled it, and I just got some Yahoo answers just from random people. But um, I'd like a website. It's, I know it's not listed on any of the sites that I normally go to. Um, um, so that just gives you kind of a little bit of an insight. Um, I know products that do test on animals are Maybelline, CoverGirl. Um, I can't think of any offhand, but um, a lot of the drugstore ones, sadly enough, do. I know I know Estee Lauder does. Um, L'Oreal, they test on animals. Um, for all your Mac fans, and I I love Mac. Um, I lost actually a lot of my makeup a year ago, but um, Mac fans, they do not test on animals. It is overpriced, I think, but um, 
I'm going to start building my MAC collection back up because um, it is overpriced, but hey, it's worth it if they don't test on animals. So good for MAC. Um, and if you guys have any questions or anything or want me to touch on something different, um, kind of along in, in the long line of this um, video, I guess, um, definitely just ask. I've been putting this video together actually for a long time. It should be up in about two weeks. I have my family, my pets and everything, and it's the biggest editing um, effects video, I guess, that I have. So it's going to be amazing, and hopefully it's going to be really touching to a lot of people. So that should be up probably in about two weeks. Um, also... Um, a lot with food. I don't know if you guys are know about milk or anything. I'll put the link actually in the sidebar. It's R Mom. RSVT. Um, it's a hormone that's actually injected into cows to produce more milk for, um, I guess, supply and demand. Um, so they sell more milk, which is horrible. It causes cancer, and there's a lot of hormones in it. And with any processed or anything like food like that, um, it's in cheese and things like that. I'll put the link in the sidebar if you want me to go all into that. I don't know, but. Um, you know, research it, I guess. Um, make sure if you buy regular milk um, and it's not soy milk or something or um, that silk milk I like. But um, anyway, that's totally off the subject. But I'll put the link actually to that in the sidebar. And also, um, you can Google it on YouTube. There's a video on there about it. And it's actually pretty scary and pretty sad. So I think um, the world has a lot of changes to do, um, especially with the ozone layer and animals and things like that. Um, these are small things that you can teach your kids. Um, and maybe they can change, you know, their generation. Um, so fingers crossed, and hopefully this touched on somebody, um, you know, and changed somebody's mind, or even if you didn't change your mind, um, at least you know a little bit more about it and open your mind up to, I guess, um, different points of view and different ways people live their lives. And um, thanks for watching, you guys, and truly you guys take care.